Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. Thanks for checking out another video of mine here on YouTube. Today we are talking about making a 3D logo inside of the Fusion tab in DaVinci Resolve. I also want to mention before we get started that if you're into making graphics with Fusion, we have a Fusion title pack that's available right now. Super easy to find, just type fusiontitles.com. That'll bring you to our page. It's a collection of a whole bunch of different animated titles for the Fusion tab inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. And there's a pack of 21 of them that are simple, clean, and really good for just about any project you're working on. So make sure to check that out. Now, here's a spoiler alert. There is not a way to extrude a logo inside of Resolve. So you have to have a little bit of help from some other apps. But once you have it extruded, you can bring it into Resolve. So check this out. Here I am in Adobe Illustrator. You don't have to have Illustrator to make this work, but this is how we're going to get our art to begin with. So if you already have a logo, as long as it's in a SVG format, you can do the next step. But what we're gonna do right now is convert this to an SVG format. All I'm gonna do is select it, go up to File, Export As, I'll save it on the desktop as an SVG. That's a scalable vector graphic. The default options are fine. I'll hit OK and go out of Illustrator. And I'm going to open Blender. If you don't know what Blender is, it's a free 3D modeling program. And you can download it. And it's super powerful. It's amazingly powerful. You aren't going to have to know a ton about Blender to do this. I'm just going to show you the need to know stuff. I'm going to delete this cube. Just hit Delete and Confirm. Then I'm gonna go up to File and Import SVG. And I'll click Desktop and find my SVG and hit Import. And it's gonna come in very, very small in the middle of our window here. I'm just gonna roll in on my mouse. And we see we have our logo here. These are brought in as curves, which you can extrude inside of Blender. All I'm gonna do is select each one by right-clicking, and I'm gonna go over here to this wrench, and under the wrench menu, I'm gonna hit Add Modifier, Solidify. That's probably just fine. I'm gonna select the next one, Solidify, both eyes. I'm literally just picking them and then hitting Solidify. That's great. If you know a little bit about Blender, you can move it around and change the color and do all that stuff, but you don't even have to do that. That looks good. I'm going to hit File, Export, Wavefront, OBJ. I'll also put this on the desktop, and I'll call this lionhead.obj and hit Export OBJ. Then I can close Blender, and now we're back to safe land. No scary things here, friends. I'm going to go to my Edit tab. And under my effects library, grab a title. I'll use the text plus and just drag it into the timeline. And then I'll switch over to Fusion. Now that I'm in Fusion, I'll delete my template node and hit Control Spacebar. And I'll type FBX. And this is just the node that imports 3D stuff. So I'll hit OK. FBX Mesh 3D. And I'll go to Desktop and find Lionhead.obj and hit Open. And if I hit one, there we have our lion head brought into 3D space. Now, to actually look at this on the screen, we have to do a couple things. The first one is I'll select my node here and hit Control Spacebar and type Render. And we want Renderer 3D. Then we can connect that to Media Out. And that's going to actually render an image of our logo. What we're also probably going to want is a light. So I'm going to select my FBX mesh and Control Spacebar and type Light. And let's do directional light. And if I add that, it's also going to add Merge 3D, which is what we need to add different things to our scene. And I'll bring up Merge 3D in our left viewer. Then I can adjust things like the lighting. All I'm doing is just rotating that light a little bit. I'm going to grab my mesh. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make zoom this in so we can see it a little better and hold down control and roll in so that we can see this 
move around with my middle click. Under my FBX Mesh 3D node, I'm gonna go to the third button over here, which looks like the three arrows, and scroll part of the way down to pivot. And we wanna adjust this pivot so that it's kind of in the middle of our logo, just because it's gonna be easier for us later if we do it that way. And then let's rotate this on the X axis, let's say 90 degrees. So now we have our logo straight up and down. It's rotated towards the camera. We can see that here in our render. And I can move this around to be the middle of the screen. And I'll bring it a little closer. So you may notice that this is bright white and if even if we change the color of our light, nothing's happening. That's because in Renderer 3D, at the very bottom in our inspector, we need to enable lighting. And that's what happens. So we'll click that, go back to our light, and now we can see the lights actually making a difference. So let's just start with the blue light. And we can kind of adjust it. One thing I'm also gonna do is just scale my mesh here. I'm gonna scale it up in Y so that we can see that extrusion a little easier. I'm also gonna duplicate my light. You don't have to do all this stuff, but it makes it a little easier to see that it is 3D. If you duplicate your light, and I'll make this one like kind of a yellow just so we can see it, and I'll rotate it around the other way. So that looks nice, let's put a little background on this, I'm just going to deselect everything, hit control space bar and type BG, and drag this onto the output of the renderer 3D. That's going to add this as a merge. I'm going to hit control T to switch the background and the foreground. And let's do this on like a very light gray. So now we have our 3D logo and we can even animate it by just adjusting the rotation of whatever object we want. So maybe we'll just give it a little something. Just something little, just to add some shine to it, maybe. So, you can play around with it, kind of do your own thing. But there we have a 3D logo imported into Fusion. And as far as I know, you can use this FBX Mesh 3D to import basically any OBJ and do quite a bit of fancy things with that. So hope that helps for people who are wondering how to do something like this. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more post-production tutorials, color grading tutorials, fusion tutorials, things like that, go ahead and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. My name again is Casey Ferris. I will catch you next time. Music